the story just went like it, it only the, this game has a fairly dark overtone honestly it's like a lot of things suddenly happen have the confidence to make sure that like you don't stray too much from stuff while well, usually used for, to annoy the fuck out of you still kind of always just be like things are kind of fucked up here but no then just that return to the story please Luca turn looks around and understands where she is. Petrolia. Do you even know how to use a sword? Drop your weapon now. Very well. I'm not strong enough to use this anyway. There's only one weapon light enough for me to wield. Good. Now don't try anything stupid. Luca's voice distracts a soldier, buying during enough time to run past him and flee the caravan with Luca. Hold it! Dronia, take care of Luca for me! Over here, Madam Dronia, this way! <sighs> Looks like I gave you too much magic. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> Jorna's prosthetic leg caught on the stone pavement, but Luca used her small body to keep Jorna from falling. Uh, are you okay, Madam Jorna? Uh, yes. Sorry. Hey! Luca! It's Jorna! Fritz? Where's your boss? Luca! I was worried because I saw all those soldiers surrounding the caravan. Look out! Huh? Whoa! Thanks to Luca, Fritz noticed the unclean one in time and managed to jump out of its way. Now be near, all right? Madame Tronia is with us. Just go home, Fritz. It's dangerous out here. Super dangerous. Yeah. Okay. You guys be careful too. Soldiers stand guard in front of the Abbey. That's a lot of soldiers. We can't get inside. Yeah. Oh, this looks impossible. It might be best if we look for a different place. But, but, there are soldiers everywhere. If we run away now... Mm. Nipto? No. Nemto nods and begin to approach the soldiers. Say, isn't that Nemto? Huh? What the hell is he doing? <laughs> Nemto lifted the soldier over his head and threw him to the ground. Hey, what are you doing? Did the witch mind control him or something? Hey, get back here! <laughs> Nemto breaks into a full sprint and runs into the alley. I, I knew it. The soldiers left their post to pursue Nemto. <sighs> Looks like Miriad isn't here, but we should be a little safer now. I hope. Madam Junia, you don't look so good. You're really pale. Uh, don't worry about it. I just need to rest a bit. Then we can find Neldo, look for the key, and... <laughs> Welcome, Dronia. You look awful. Trying to ambush us, Funa. <laughs> don't try to act all tough, Dronia. I can tell you're practically hemorrhaging, Mana. You may 
help escape the soldiers, but it doesn't change your predicament. Have you forgotten? We have this town surrounded. Now, Lady Luca, as I said before, we no longer need this Dronia puppet. So I ask that you undo the contract. If you refuse, well, then it might be amusing to see what happens if that craftsman's boy gets taken. Fritz? Again? Fiona, you... Or, I could let that Juliet bitch get taken instead of... Shut up, Fiona! Uh? If you keep bullying Madame Dronia and everyone else, I... I won't forgive you! I won't! <laughs> well, what are you saying? I mean it! I really, really mean it! Yeah? And what are you gonna do about it? by my title is so rich that I'll... that I'll dismiss you, Fiona! <laughs> Lady Luca, if you do that, Madame Baba will punish you terribly. I don't care if Madame Baba kills me, so you better leave Madame Droni alone! Fine. I'll stop, I'll stop. Guess you live to see another day, Droni. Fiona... What are you? Why are you so loyal to Baba? Huh. Ignorant as ever, I see. But since I'm feeling nice, I'll educate your foolish mind. The true purpose of the witches produced by the Ruler Magic Academy is to find the labyrinth that contains the keys. What? But there are many labyrinths like the one beneath Refrain all over the world. And the keys that we're after Nobody knows where they are either. So we gain positions within governments around the world, gather intelligence about local labyrinths, and explore them. I assume Valnia knew that as well. Huh? But all you've done so far is just follow us around. Yes, well, my mission was to observe Lady Luca and her Dronia puppet for any irregularities. I see. So you've been watching us from the start. Yes. I work so hard to beat out the competition at the Academy, just to end up an observer. So frustrating. Ah, but I also learned a great deal by observing the unclean ones that roam this town. And now, I know how to do something very interesting. What if I told you I knew how to take a person's fate? and scatter it like dust in the wind. You figured out how to make the unclean ones get rid of anyone who got too close to us. Really? Fritz, did you really use the unclean ones, Fiona? <laughs> That's right. I was so bored. So dreadfully bored. <laughs> day after day, all by myself, Doing nothing but observing. While you both were out having fun with this town's vermin, all I could do was watch like a useless idiot. I just wanted to have fun. That's why I played with them. Oh, you've played with bugs before, right, Lady Luca? You know how fun it is to rip off their legs and wings? What I did is the exact same thing. No, it's not. I've never done that. Bugs? They're totally different! Huh? What are you talking about, Lady Luca? Humans are vermin in the eyes of a witch. <laughs> Just stop, please! He hearing you talk like this makes me want to cry! I understand. I won't say any more, then. Unfortunately, I don't stand a chance against you. So I'll let the other witches take care of Dronia's disposal. However, please don't forget that you are surrounded by enemies and have nowhere to run. If you'll excuse me, I shall take my leave. Goodbye, Dronia. I doubt we'll ever see each other again. Now I just need my new orders from Madame Baba Yaga. <laughs> you think Baba is still alive, Fiona? I got rid of her days ago. Huh. What are you talking about? Are you trying to trick me? <laughs> hmm. 
Marietta suddenly bursts into the room and stabs Fiona in the chest. A grimace of despair, visibly only to Marietta, spreads across Fiona's face as she stares at her attacker. With terror in her eyes, Fina breathes her last. M Are you both all right? Hey, why did you stab her? Isn't she your enemy? Besides, we saw this exact same witch on top of the vault surrounding this town. You mean... Another Funa puppet. I knew it! Madame Drunia! Maybe the other witches never came. Maybe they're all Funa puppets. But I don't think those other puppets will come after us. Why is that? Those other Funa puppets should already know that I defied Madame Baba. And now they all know they can't beat me either. Funa puppets. Then I'm... I'm also a puppet, Luca? <laughs> I guess even bad memories can still evoke nostalgia. I can't believe Baba sent a summons for me to come all this way. If she thinks it's a short trip from the kingdom to here, then she has no idea what it's like to be a court witch. One second about something. What was that? I just got an alert of something that is... Hmm. The fuck was that? I don't know. Oh well. Still... Why did she say I have to visit Isara now? And... And what the hell am I even supposed to say to her? Madame Velnia! <coughs> you actually came! Ugh, this asshole. Step aside. I didn't come to visit you. <laughs> Still as blunt as ever. Once I see Isara, I'll be on my way. Papa! Isara's daughter? She doesn't even look like her. She looks like her father. Didn't I tell you to wait inside, Luca? Luca hides behind her father's leg, but keeps staring at Velnia with curious eyes. Now, Madame Velnia, about my wife. She's not yours. She was never yours. You took her from me. You both did. She has passed away. What? Her health took a turn for the worse after Luca was born. But she wrote to you every day, up until one year ago. One year ago? Velnia fell to her knees. M Madam Velnia! Isara. Isara is dead? He's been dead for a year? Isara is dead because of you. You did this to her. Pardon me, Duskwitch Velnia. Yes? A letter has arrived for you. Thank you. Dear Madam Velnia, Papa is really sick. He wants to see you. We would be happy 
if you came to visit me. The letter said you were really sick. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't come unless she wrote that. This has been a waste of my time. I'm leaving. But I am very sick. I don't have much time left. When... when I die... Please take care of Luca. I, I can't leave her with Baba Yaga. What? How dare you ask that of me? I don't know what Isara told you about me, but I'm not that kind of person. <coughs> And one other request. Are you listening to me? Did you really make me come all this way just to receive your last will and testament? I'm under no obligation to listen to anything you have to say. <coughs> you truly are a student of Baba Yaga. Does that mean you know how to cast spells known only to her? depends on the spell then please hear my request I can do that but you'll lose all your memories in the process while there is a spell that can transfer memories it is beyond the grasp of most witches even I'm not skilled enough to wield that kind of magic that's fine I just want to stay by Luca's side for as long as I can until she can be of use to you someday. It's... what Isara would want. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just so afraid to die. I can say I'm doing this for my wife and daughter. But I'm just weak. Crying won't move me. I'm under no obligation to help you, remember? <laughs> My wife is right about you. She told me that you... If Mama could do it, then I can do it too! I can! I can! Just watch, Auntie Velmia! I'll make the jump! W wait don't jump! It's too far for you! Luca let out a determined shout as she leapt across the gap to the other side. I, I did it! I made the jump! I made the jump, Andy Belnia! But as she celebrated, the ground beneath her fell, uh, feet began to give way. Or give way. Vilna jumped across and grab, grabbed the gap and pu and pushed Luca to safety. At that moment, Velnia, uh, the ground collapsed beneath Velnia's feet. of your selfishness. Your mama who birthed you is dead. Your papa is dead too. You will bear the burden of this sin for the rest of your life. Alone. Worry not, child. There is one path available. You must awaken your power as a witch. Becoming a witch would normally require years of training. But you have inherited the great power of the soul witch from your mother. Witch? Here, 
luz dice. You wish to see your precious auntie again, yeah? Then you must put her soul into this doll, or be alone forever. Do I sense hesitation? You are Avisara's blood. Binding down your soul to this doll should be a trivial task for you. Oh, but she will need a new name. Velnia simply will not do. No. How about Duskbeach? Dronia. A fitting name for one caught in the twilight of life and death. <laughs> I'm just another doll. No different from the puppet soldiers, eh? I think Tracti would appreciate the irony. Luca, am I like Funa? Are there other Dronia puppets besides me? No, Madame Funi. She is the only one. Mama's doll is the only one that worked. I'm sorry, Madame Funi. I'm a bad kid. I'm a bad kid. I'm really... I'm really sorry. <laughs> Luca, look at me. It's okay. I was dead long before the fall that took my life. But as long as I'm alive... No. As long as I can move, I still have a chance. Now, Luca, can you give me some of your magic? Just enough to keep me moving. Okay. Luca takes Drona's hand and begins to infuse her with magic. Were you... Infusing me with magic every night while I was asleep? Yeah, but some nights I couldn't. And then the next day, I got really sick. Oh. I see. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. All because of me. <laughs> Luca, what's done is done. Marietta searches Funa's body and discovers a peculiar object. Madame Duranya, that witch was holding this. The, the key? <laughs> so she had it all along. I didn't expect Baba to be so trusting. Oh, but now, we just need one more. We can still do it, Luca. With two keys, we can probably conduct the ritual, but I don't know what might happen. We'll just have to trust Tracti. Let's head back to the caravan. You want to go back? No, we need to go back. This is our final gamble. I knew it. A soldier standing guard. Nettle leaps off a building, silent as his owl form, and cuts down the soldier. N Nelly! Luca hugs Neldo. Luca! You're all right. I am so relieved. <laughs> You're a hard one to kill. <laughs> right back at you. If the soldiers find us here, we're done for. There'll be no escape. But with the unclean ones roaming the streets, there aren't that many soldiers. We have until sunrise, if we're lucky. You understand, right, Tracti? F 
Find the third key. If you can't, though, we'll just proceed with the two we have. The last key might be in Campanula. In hindsight, all the places we thought had keys turned out to be dead ends. Call it a witch's intuition, but my money's on Campanula. We'll wait for you to find it as long as we can. I have faith in you, Tracti. Good luck. With those parting words, Dronia gave Tracti a soft, rose-scented kiss. We not smell like roses. A fragrance of rose of roses envelops Tracti. Explore Capanula and search for the last key. There's a petition though. What's this new one? Ampanula spoils. Amadeus actually spoils. Alright. Great. Let's save it off to watch that entire cutscene thing again. Great story stuff, but holy shit, they really go on it. Campanula. Campanula, right here. Really? Where in Campanula would it be? Let me go to this place real quick. To check something? Okay, yeah, there's there's an exclamation mark up there though, but she's now no longer there. Up there's probably still the notice. And there it's still something at the bottom, I guess. Campanula. I'm trying to think where we could find something that would let us go to Campanula then. Or that will let us at least see what they mean. Here's the exit point, but I am not sure. Unless I gotta go deep into this whole place. Should I have started? I think I, might have, I should have started from the beginning and then just gone right there to the right or left. Because I think that's where I have to start from. Yeah, like from right here, if you just go to the left, you can go down. From there, you just go down again. And again, apparently. Then you reach before. And that's where we don't know yet. We haven't really explored it entirely. I gotta put down a fog though to make sure I don't start getting fucked over by those things. And hopefully get some mana right here and just restock the reinforcement. It shouldn't take too long though. That's a lot of them. Yeah, we're still used to enemies that have like more than this HP though, so we might be fine. No problem. An opening. Maybe. Random, but we are very close to it. I know my ah! This is a big win. I do gotta be slightly careful though, because this area has a very low mana sort of maximum. Oh 
like you're not gonna go and oh maybe let's just do this yeah supposedly there might be something else around here i'm just not sure yeah this area was a big bit of a bitch right there Oh shit, okay. I'm about to say, I'm just gonna walk into that. Oh, uh, third pallet. Nice. Let's do it! Big slime. An excellent for me. Ha! An opening! Ha! This is a big win! Beyond that as well. Try to get back as much reinforcement as I can. I remember that's where I fell down as well. I'm not sure if I did. Though I know I need to find him up the exit somewhere. I'm just I'm being reminded so much of me trying to get through this whole thing as well, and just like everything going terribly. You're not gonna do anything so meh. To jump into the hole or no? I feel like it's gonna kill me, honestly. There it is. Jesus, fuck! Goddamn meat statues. What of our defenses? Got it. I got this. I left you a nub. Yeah, there. Uh, you're not getting away. <laughs> I see it. Inca. I won! Let's see how much this will ruin me. Actually, before that, should I? Nah. Let's just go in there. Page 5 achievement unlocked. Dear God, I'm going wildly in different areas right, right here with what I need to do, apparently. Still trying to map out what I can. This is all uncharted territory. Hey, you want to run for me? Good. Less to worry about. I feel like I was able to explore this much sooner than I am right now, to be honest. I just never did because I never wanted to come back after nearly getting fucking killed. Are we over-leveled? We're not over-leveled, actually. We're just, I think, they were supposed to come here sooner. Wait a second. There's something right here. Oh god. Okay, no, that's what it was right there. God damn it, I'm an idiot. Wow, 
Why are they scared? Probably because we were supposed to be here earlier. Like, if we go into another area, technically we're level, but we're not supposed to be there. Unless we're looking for something specific, we look for a quest. No, I feel, that's what I feel like is going on right now. We were not supposed to be... We were supposed to be here earlier, but we never did. We never fully explored. So because of that, we are technically overloaded for this area, but only because we were supposed to be here earlier to find stuff, and we never did. We never made that trip. Really gonna just stop there? Bastard. Stop being rude! Oh god. There. Incoming. There. You shit. Please no. Goddamn gore hits. Still giving you grief every moment. Still gonna use a half to jitter, use a jitterbug for that. Take off both your legs. right there apparently too oh fuck okay it's a fucking door maze ah! why why are they doing this thank you but ow ah, god I hate you too, game. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This is the merry-go-round of fucking death. Ah, you weren't talking to it again. And I can't see opponents right now as well, apparently. Shit. Oh god. I will annihilate you. I'll look at it in a second. An opening. Use a fucking fog veil. And the packs. Capanola pack to the single one. Avoid will be increased by a large amount. Attack is more likely to be targeted by enemies. By both. Bellmasters only. Fairy King's thing. Whatever that is. That's it. I will annihilate you. No problem. Ah, there, 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 there. Good job, Zappy. Well fought, everyone. Ready to engage. So stand here. There. I got this. <laughs> Can I attack the You're swamp girl? I don't know why we'd want to, though, to be honest. <laughs> To the next one. I'm feeling more articulate. You got immortal sin. Attacks may confuse when HP is that. No. You don't need that at all.
this is pretty much actually a dungeon of some way, something too. 